the hieroglyphic stairway from Copan is a perfect laboratory for not only studying hieroglyphs, but studying how they relate to archaeology, how they relate to monuments and architecture. It's amazing uh, how, you know, deep a monument can go in history, and uh, not just with the history that it recorded. We have so many different ways that we've documented that stairway over the years. We have glass plate negatives here at the Peabody Museum that record the stairway back in the 1890s. And that record has amazing detail um, that is now lost on the original. Then there's other records in there. There's 1946 record of it. Um, there's the 1978 record. Getting all of that information together so that you can do a drawing that reflects all of that information is really um, a long process. It was in 1986 that really we started playing with the idea of taking what was there on the surface and, and, and trying to figure out what the original staircase looked like because it was very clear that the reconstruction was inaccurate. This is something that I was working on especially, was making a photographic reconstruction. The problem, however, if you're doing a photographic mock-up is you're not sure if the blocks actually fit together. Around 1997, 3D scanning started to come into um, the research. Uh, arena for heritage preservation and so I started to do some um, investigation how we could make a copy of the hieroglyphic stairway. 3D technology is, is amazing because we can replicate things for the first time without um, touching them. You know, we can we can scan something and it doesn't damage the surface like um, the old molding methods would have done, where you, you practically rip off part of the stone with the mold. The 3D um, just is a, is a light that passes over the surface. When we scanned the hieroglyphic stairway, we had to do a lot of scans in situ. So we had to be on the steps. We have to adapt all our equipment. When we just started in 2008, we would barely do 20 scans a day. And we looked at that stairway and we thought that we would never be done. So we developed all these little parameters which pretty much increased our efficiency about tenfold compared to the first field season. And so we finished the bulk of the stairway within uh, the first four field seasons and then we finished the remaining sculptures in the fifth field season. The whole project to make a, a model or a, um, you know, a safe copy, let's uh, call it, of the hieroglyphic stairway is to preserve the data. But we also wanted to use the 3D model to be able to piece it back together. And we thought we could do that virtually. But when you're talking about moving 3D models in three-dimensional space on your computer, it's very different. And it takes a long time to even move a piece across the screen. So I said, instead of doing that first, let's print it out first. So that's where we are right now. We're puzzling it back together now. Really getting the documentation done so that we can start to put it back in order, that to me has been, well, the whole impetus of this project. But for me, seeing it actually happen and starting to come together is wonderful. I don't think anyone is prepared for the scale of the monument. And as you approach it, you see that all of the risers on every staircase are covered in, in sculpture. There's all of this imagery that's integrated along with the hieroglyphic text. And, and, and the, the imagery and the writing kind of resonate with each other and they talk to each other. And, and you can't study one without the other. It's an artistic masterpiece unlike anything else in the ancient world.